Welcome to the Canadian Culture Series. Scheduling my life at university. Hey, Echen. Oh, hi, Mira. <sighs> it's good to see you. Thanks so much for meeting with me today and for the coffee. No problem. So, what's up? How are things going with the start of the semester? I'm loving it all, but there's too much to do for my classes. There just doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day. I hear you. That's one of the biggest changes. In high school, it was a lot of work, but it always seemed like I could do it. But at university, there's so much more work and you can't do everything with equal attention. But don't worry. I learned how to balance it all with some time management strategies, and you can too. Really? Please tell me about them. For sure. Okay, first, tell me the things you are trying to balance. Well, I have my lectures, tutorials, labs, all the homework, time with friends and family. Oh yeah, and my part-time job. I should prioritize sleep and eating too. I don't know how to do it all. Okay. Take a deep breath. This is going to be fine. Every student at York is dealing with the same issue. The best strategy is to make a time management plan. A time management plan? How do I make one? This means that you plan for your whole semester and on a weekly basis. Do you have your laptop? Let's get it out and make your plan. That sounds terrific. I'm ready. Where should I start? First, plan out your whole semester. To do this, get a digital four-month calendar and put in your due dates for assignments, midterms, and exams, as well as the reading weeks and holidays. Okay, next is planning your independent study time. At university, you are expected to spend more time studying outside of your lectures than the time you spend in class. The general guideline is to spend two to three hours per lecture hour on independent study. Okay. So four courses times three hours of lectures per week times two to three hours of independent study equals 24 to 36 hours per week. That's right. University is a full-time job. To be efficient, you should study on campus in between your classes. That's a great idea. But where can I study on campus? Students like to study at the Scott Library. It's convenient and has good workspaces. Different floors in the library have different study cultures. There are places for groups to meet, so in those areas, it's okay to talk while you work. Other floors have individual desks where some quiet chatting is okay. Other floors are individual study desks and are very quiet. No talking is allowed. You can choose the floor that suits your study style the best. I think I'll go for the locations that have individual study spaces, but where some talking is okay. In that case, you can find other places to study around campus, like in York Lanes, the Second Student Center, or the college buildings. There are many spaces, but I recommend finding a space you like and always going there. That way, you'll know that it's usually available at that time, and you will get into a study routine there. Don't forget to take breaks. Like after studying for 90 minutes, take a 10 or 15 minute breather to help keep you focused. That's a great idea. The only things that you still need to include are sleep and free time. Make sure that you plan for 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Don't forget to schedule your free time for seeing friends, doing hobbies, and exercise. I'd like to set up a daily exercise routine. Where is the gym on campus? The Tate McKenzie Gym is over by the York Lions Stadium. It's a fun place to exercise and meet people. I love this idea. I've got it scheduled. Great job, Ichen. Now you have your time management plan for the whole semester and each week. Oh, and one last thing. When midterms hit, you'll notice things will get busier. Be prepared to adjust your weekly plan accordingly. What do you mean by adjusting it? 
What you need to do is prioritize your work during those times. Think about what is most important. Look at what is worth the biggest percentage of your final grades and do those first, then do the lower percentage assignments after that, and finally, your independent study that doesn't have grades after that. Mira, you've taught me so much. You're a genius. I feel better about how I can balance my time now. I'm glad this helped you each end. This is what we as university students need to do to succeed in our programs and be happy. I have to run. Class starts in 10 but please let me know how it goes. Will do. Let's catch up soon.